question number 22. The chart below illustrates how respiratory gases are transported in the human blood. We have the hemoglobin. You add to gas P, you get oxyhemoglobin. Uh, hemoglobin, you add to gas Q, you get carboxyl hemoglobin. Uh, part A, identify gas Q. So gas Q, you combine hem uh, uh, hemoglobin. Uh, hemoglobin is a, red, is a red protein that is used to transport uh, gases. Uh, so if you combine that with the carbon 2 oxide or carbon oxide, carbon 2 uh, that is CO, you will be able to get carboxy hemoglobin. Uh, explain the advantage advantage of of oxo ox, ox, oxy hemoglobin has over carbon carboxyl hemoglobin. So you say that the oxy hemoglobin is unstable. Uh, so you say oxy that is a uh, oxy hemoglobin. is unstable is unstable uh, and uh, it freely dissociate dissociate uh, and release oxygen to the, to the tissues Uh, body tissues. Uh, on the other hand, uh, carboxy hemoglobin, that is a car, this is a hemoglobin, is stable. Uh, is stable and does not dissociate uh, does not dissociate does not dissociate uh, hence having the tissues hence uh, uh, hence starving the tissues the tissues of oxygen leading to suffocation uh, that is a uh, leading to suffocation uh, as in if you inhale uh, carbon oxide into the body so that's how you answer that question you'll be able to get three marks